friends welcome back to the avocado toast budget if you're new here my name is Lexa and today I wanted to do a quick little video on giving you some tips on how you can save money on gas because while gas is kind of coming down a little bit at least within the last few days it's really expensive I live in what is usually considered to be one of the places that has the lowest gas price in the US shout out to Springfield Missouri that's all we got going for us we had a ton of places to eat some great Chinese food generally cheap gas but it doesn't even matter at this point it's just really expensive and I'll be honest here this entire video really revolves around like the first point I'm gonna mention I'm giving away the good stuff right at the beginning but in case you like already use this app or you just like want some extra little tips I've got a few other creative ideas for you that I want to throw in there as well but really this app that I like literally tell everyone about this is not sponsored I wish that they would sponsor me it's not I just tell everyone about this in my life and it feels very fitting right now considering how expensive gas is so this is my this is my excuse to make a whole video about that and some other tips that hopefully can help save you a little bit of money on gas like I've said in every other video I've got a new family living upstairs they don't stop walking they don't stop playing they've got a bunch of little kids and a dog I can hear everything it shakes the walls we're moving forward we're doing the best we can Fingers crossed, editing Lexa will know that I can keep this video as short, sweet, to the point as possible. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Tip number one, the thing that I am here for, the thing I'm giving away despite the fact that the YouTube algorithm is going to yell at me for that, that I'm not making you watch the whole video because let's be honest here, this is my biggest tip, is using the Upside app. I've talked about that a little bit on here, but I talk about it mainly on like Instagram. I love this app I feel like there's been like more celebrities sponsoring this app and like more ads recently but for like a year I never heard anyone talking about this and I don't know how everyone doesn't use it so little recap upside app used to be called get upside I might accidentally call it that so if you've heard me say that before it is a way for you to save money on gas in my opinion it's so easy and such a no-brainer it is seriously so easy to just pull up the app and then it is going to give you a map of all of the gas stations around you that participate with this app and they will offer up to 25 cents off a gallon whereas before the average around me used to be like five to ten cents off a gallon lately it's been like more than 10 cents a lot of times and even if it's only a few cents it's still something and all you have to do is find the gas station that you want to go to check in claim the like discount that they are giving you and then use that same credit card to pay and it will automatically figure out how many gallons of gas that you bought put that money into your account and then you can either direct deposit that into your bank account use PayPal or redeem it for gift cards I think I send it to PayPal and then I send that to my bank account and then it's literally just the easiest cash back on gas so yeah okay right now around me if I'm using the same screenshot it's gonna look a little bit different because I also have like a bonus 60 cents from using my affiliate link because if you use my affiliate link both you and I get a bonus 15 cents extra cash back on gas I always I don't know how to say that both of us get an extra 15 cents off of gas but it's not off it's it's cash back anyway so but even not taking that into account this says 85 cents a gallon off of gas that actually means 25 cents a gallon off of gas so whereas it would normally be 437 it would actually be the equivalent of math 412 this other one is also 25 cents a gallon off gas this gas station is 10 this is 11 this is 16 so all and you can see like how far away it is from you so like this Conoco is a mile and a half this is a mile and a half they're all very close to me I just have a gas station by my house I use all the time I know it works with get upside I don't even check the app before I go just whenever I'm going to get gas I go to fill up I check in I claim it it gives me my cash back it is so easy and then the best part about this app I think is that when you tell all of your friends and family about it you get your own affiliate link this is not just for like content creators I've been using this app no one at the app knows about me I don't think I don't think they know of my existence but I've been using it and using their like affiliate program since the beginning of the ATB because I have loved this app so much and I even use it to like recommend it to friends and family and then both of you get a little bit of a bonus and it saves a little bit of money on gas and right now I would take all the help that I could get so but definitely remember use the link in my description box down below or use this code I'll put it up here I think it's like Lexa 4764 something like that moving on so this video is not 20,000 minutes long since I said it was gonna be a short video if you are not down for the upside app or you just want some extra bonus tips on how you can save some money on gas my tip number two is to utilize rewards cards they don't have to be credit cards they can just be like gas station specific rewards cards for me whenever I lived in Michigan I used BP rewards however 
I don't know if there's a way for you to use that in line with the Upside app, but if you are someone who's not using it or you don't have a gas station around you that uses it or you're traveling and you can't find one, being loyal to like a specific kind of bigger chain of a gas station can really help out because oftentimes whether you just use your card or you check in with the app, it'll save you at least like a few cents off a gallon. And I mean, a few cents is still a few cents, so you might as well. And again, that is separate from like applying for like a rewards credit card. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about their like standard rewards cards, not the rewards credit cards. Tip number three, this isn't about like a specific loyalty program or app. These are just kind of like some tips to help make your driving a little bit more efficient and save money on gas. I recently found out that a study was done that you could save up to 40% on like your fuel economy if you are a little bit more conscious about how fast you are speeding up and slowing down. Some of us should just take that advice in general. But if you needed a little bit more of a motivation to be a little bit more of a safe and cautious driver, and that doesn't require you to like carpool or drive less, it's just being a little bit more conscious about your fuel economy and how you are driving. Tip number four, if you are driving a long way, if you have a long commute to work, or if you are like going on a road trip or something, use Google Maps to see what is the most like fuel efficient way. They have this like little feature, I don't know when it popped up, but I like it, where you can go in and like set your destination. So I live in Springfield, Missouri. Let's say I want to go to Kansas City. When I click on directions, it usually gives me the like best mix of fuel efficient and time efficient. And it'll tell you with this like little green leaf, which one is going to save you the most money and gas and be the most efficient. And if the time is like the same, usually it's the fastest route for me, then take that route. Tip number five is to combine errands all within one or two days whenever possible, because we don't realize how much extra gas it can take for us like leaving and going out and just running like day-to-day -day errands if we're going back and forth to and from our house. If instead, especially if like you kind of live on the outskirts of town or the things that you need to go and do are kind of all in one place, rather than like doing them a little bit at a time, if you can set aside a good chunk of time on your day off or just when you have a little bit of extra time and energy to run those errands all together, you'd be surprised on how much gas that is going to save you and how much less gas you are going to spend doing those like day-to-day -day mundane things that those things aren't like fun to spend money on to begin with, nonetheless wasting money on gas going to and from doing those things. Of course, this is not always possible. There are last minute things you have to do. Sometimes you just don't have a good chunk of time. But if you can plan ahead, think about your week and anything that you might need to do, try to get it all done within kind of the same time or at least like a few errands that are all around each other. Just being a little bit more conscious about your plans and where you are driving to and from can really help out right now with gas being so expensive. Tip number six is to know your credit card rewards. If you have multiple credit cards, know which one is going to give you the best bang for your buck when it comes to getting bonus points on gas. So for me, I love the Upside app because I can use that app to get bonus cash back on every gallon of gas that I buy. And I specifically use a specific credit card, my American Express, that gives me the best cash back and bonus points on gas out of all of the other cards that I have. So if you're someone who has multiple credit cards, I highly recommend just taking a look, seeing which one is going to give you the best bang for your buck in regards to like gas rewards and be conscious to use that one whenever you're filling up. I'm not recommending that you go out and get like gas station specific credit cards. A lot of times those store credit cards are not the good deal that we think that they are when compared to interest rates and the rewards and perks that other credit cards have to offer. This is just looking at the credit cards you already have, which one is the best for you to use for gas? Because a lot of times, specific credit cards will give you like bonus cash back on gas. And finally, tip number seven is to fill up on Mondays and Tuesdays whenever you can. Study came out saying that most of the time that is when gas is the cheapest. So if you are able to fill up at the beginning of the week, you might end up saving yourself some money as opposed to like waiting until the weekend. If you can run by before or after work, it might really be worth it if you can save some money on gas because Let's be honest here, I've seen gas go up by a lot over the weekend, especially if it's like a holiday weekend or something. So just being a little bit more conscious about when you get gas, even if it means filling up before you are fully on empty, because I know I'm guilty of that, it could save you a lot of money in the long run. So I really hope that this helped to give you guys some good ideas, some tips on how you can save money on gas. Any extra money that is in your pocket that you're not having to spend on overpriced gas right now is a win in my book. If you have any of your own creative tips or apps that you like to use or loyalty programs that you like, definitely leave a comment down below. Let us all know so we can learn from you. I want in on all of the money saving secrets. 
I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm, helps boost this video to the top. That way more people can find this content. And I will see you all next time. Bye. Yes, I have given up on changing clothes to give the illusion that I film these on separate days. I don't think I, I'm fooling anyone either way, so we're going with the same thing as last time. And people are walking. I'm still very hungry. I said that at the beginning of the last video as well. And it's getting hotter and hotter in here by the minute because of the lights that I have and the fact that I can't have the AC running.